What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing the Balchin 17 year old matured in burgundy casks, 53.7%. This was a bottle split. Doing a new thing on Patreon now, so for as little as $1 a month, uh, you can request one of my reviews. So all the stuff to my right uh, hasn't been reviewed yet. There's pictures on the Patreon of what actually is on that side of the bar because you can't see it all from the camera here. Uh, so this was a request by longtime Patreon and a new independent bottler, Spirit of Us, also known as Kevin, uh, Kevin D. So he, Kevin is starting Spirit of Us. He requested that I review the Balchin 17. So thank you very much, Kevin, for that request. And let's get on with the review over here. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Balchin is the peated version of Edradour. Okay, so uh, kind of like the long grow to Springbank, uh, Balchin is to Edradour. Again, this is 53.5% and they released a whole bunch of these in 2023 um, that were wine cask aged. There's a 21 that's aged in, I believe, in Madeira casks. This one is Burgundy casks. So. Uh, based on the reviews, I purchased this one with a buddy. It was about 285 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Not cheap. And uh, we split the bottle. So, here we go. Okay, so... There's a little bit of... Like a corky, weird oak note to this. Which could suggest that there's some cork influence. Uh, these are large corks that they use for these bottles but this is not a rotted cork by any means. So that could just be the barrel influence on this. Um, definitely get like a whole bunch of like red fruits. A little bit of peat, not a ton. So 17 years old, good ABV at 53.5. And I guess this is comparable to your Long Grow Red series just a bit older than what the usual long grow reds come out at. It's opened up a lot since I've gotten it. The nose has much more milk chocolate than it did before. Much more mellow, a little bit less peat as well, unfortunately. But something very sweet almost like jam-like fruits. Really nice. The nose is very nice. Let's see the palette. So it's 50 ppm, parts per million of peat. Give it another sip. Okay, so this did much better with time. Natural color, unchill filtered, all those fun things. Um, on the palette, it's not overly thick or viscous by any means. Um, the finish is probably better than the main sip of the palette. A little bit of like a coffee kind of note on the finish there. Um, not a ton of peat. I don't know, I get some burgundy for sure. It's not like the best on the palette, to be honest with you. Um, definitely not what you would expect for near $300. Uh, this one is one of, I think, 3,000 bottles or 2,103 bottles. So limited, of course. Uh, there's not many of these um, 
first built burgundy hogshead so those probably are not cheap to come by but at 17 years old i'm not looking to spend close to 300 dollars very often unless it's something very very special and for me this falls a little shy i'm going to give one more sip and then a mark Yeah, nothing crazy going on here. Nothing that I'm like drawing back to it. Like, again, this is a barrel or sorry, a bottle split. So I've only had half of this. And as you can see, nothing's really enticed me to go back to it too, too often. Um, it's actually a little bit better today than it was when I first opened it and poured it out, but not much. Uh, for all those reasons, this is probably like an 83 for me. It's not that great. I wouldn't buy it again and I wouldn't pay anywhere close to that price if I were you guys looking to buy this bottle. Um, there is definitely better out there for that price. Uh, I mean, so the long row reds are hard to compare to because I'm not a big fan of the long row reds. I was initially and then time after time I was kind of disappointed with the long row reds. Uh, in general, I'm not a big fan of anything but bourbon sherry uh, or even sometimes rum influence on a whiskey so i'm not a big fan of these kind of like burgundies or madeiras or usually doesn't drive well with me and that shows here because this is just okay but that's it um, like i said that's an 83 if you want to request a bottle and you want to be part of the program, uh, again, this is the first time I did it. I'm going to continue the series. Those people that are already my Patreons have first dibs, and then it's just going to go down the list all the way to the bottom, back up to the top, all the way to the bottom again. Um, I'll probably throw in a couple of non-requested reviews as well, just to kind of keep it interesting. But for the most part, uh, the requests are going to lead the way for what I review next. So if you want to be a part of that, for as little as $1 a month, you can be on Patreon. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.